everyone. So when I recently did my DVD folder collection, uh, I asked if anybody wanted to see a CD collection and quite a lot of people did. So I thought we'd go through that today and I will say, I will get comments saying that this is a largely embarrassing collection and I should be ashamed of myself. One, I like the music that's in this. Uh, two, I don't really buy CDs that often. I'm not one of those people who is a music buff. I don't live for music. Um, you know, if my iPod broke, so be it. Um, so for me, the CDs are in this. The CDs that are in this have been in here for many years, but also I love them so much, especially some of the artists. So we'll uh, talk more about that when we get there. But just don't expect any kind of modern CDs and any current pop artists as they will not be in here I'm afraid. So there's a few loose ones so we'll take the loose ones out first. So we have just a few discs that um, were review copies from a few years ago. And okay the first one isn't actually a music CD. The first one is Caroline Ray's What Is It You Can't Face. Uh, it's a audio recording of one of her comedy shows and it's so good. Then we have an album that I listen to quite frequently and this is The Glass Plastics and it has some great songs on this. I think I actually did a separate review of it. Um, I definitely recommend Wargo and 15 Days and Icy Findings and all of them. And just for my fellow Sabrina fans, the lead singer is Trevor Lazur, Miles Goodman from series 5 to 6. Um, it's a very nice CD. I love the songs. There are a lot of memories for me with these songs. And if you're looking for one CD to buy or download, I definitely recommend Wargo. So, the rest are kind of in an order, but possibly not entirely. So first we have Mary Byrne, that's With Love. I can't remember if that was her first or second album. Then we have 100 Irish Songs and Ballads, that's disc one. I'm very fond of Celtic music. And then we have disc two and disc three from the same uh, compilation. Then we come to the ones that I probably listen to most out of all of my CD collection. It's John Barman. So we have, I do have every single one of John Barman's CDs apart from I think one which was just, it was either a re-release or I had every single track on a different album. Something like that, I can't remember exactly. Um, so we have the very best of John Barnum. Also, I do have his latest album, but it's still in the case in my bedroom. It's not in here yet. That's Tonight the Night. And then we have John Barnum and Another Side. Let's play a drinking game. I have a drink every time I say John Barnum. John Barnum, music, music, music. Up at the top here. And this one down here is just called John Barman. And then we have the essential John Barman. Although I think everything John Barman is essential. And John Barman at his very best. Again, he's always at his very best. And this is the second disc of John Barman at his very best. Then we have Mary Byrne, Mine and Yours. Something tells me that might be her first album. I can't remember. Then we have Cheryl Cole, Three Words. Um, Cheryl Cole, I'm trying to remember if that album was just called Cheryl Cole or if it had another name. I'm sure somebody will remind me. And then 
Leslie Garrett, the singer. And come a little bit closer so you can see better. There we go. Catherine Jenkins, Rejoice. And Catherine Jenkins, Living the Dream, up top. <laughs> and then we come to High Five Hits. I was a massive fan of High Five, the Channel 5 program when I was younger and I would watch it every single morning before school and luckily just as I was getting too old to watch it the cast changed and it went rubbish. I've had that CD for so many years uh, but really, yeah, it's a nice one to work out to, some of the songs are quite catchy. Now we have one more Catherine Jenkins. This is Second Nature. And then we have Jane McDonald, Inspiration. And Jane McDonald, The Collection. And I believe that one is just called Jane McDonald. And then we have Jane. And then we have the Nolan Sisters. I'm not entirely sure what the album is called. We have disc one here. And then we have disc two. And the best of the Nolans. And the Nolans Disco Party Classics. And Nolan's I'm in the Mood Again, which was their own, the one that was released for their their tour a few years ago. Maureen, Bernie, Colleen and Linda. Then we have Billy Piper. It's her first album. And then her second album. The Best of Billy and She Wants You and in those four CDs, as far as I remember, I have every single song of hers that was ever released onto CD. Oh, and then there's Thank Abba for the music, which she was also part of. Um, I think Steps might have done it, Bewitched did it, various different celebrity uh, artists. <laughs> And we have S Club Juniors. A lot of these CDs, ow, a lot of these CDs have a lot of fond memories. Uh, S Club Juniors, I was insanely, insanely obsessed with from about the age of nine or ten until about twelve or thirteen. I had listened to that every single day. And then we have S Club 8 and then I Dream. Then we have two Soap Star Superstar CDs, which I haven't actually listened to in a very long time. I haven't put it onto my iTunes for some reason. Um, but they were great. I loved that TV show. That was back when I actually watched soaps. I don't watch them anymore. Then we have Deborah Stevenson in the sunshine. I bought that after buying her workout DVD and thoroughly enjoyed her workout DVD. Then we have Connie Talbot over the rainbow. And this is another comedy, comedy, uh, comedy, audio comedy show. This is Stacky Economopoulos's Come On It's Jokes. And then we have Doctor Who. Series 1 and 2. And then we have the 5th disc, the Irish one. I don't remember seeing the 4th disc. I found it. <laughs> the 4th disc is there. And then we have the Proclaimers featuring Brian Potter and Andy Pipkin. And that's I'm going to be 500 miles. And I remember sitting in the, the canteen at school on at dinner time. Must have been about 
it must have been 2006, maybe 2007, and the TV was on a uh, music channel, and whenever the music video for that came on and David Tennant was there clapping away in his kilt, and I, I just always used to get so excited about David Tennant in a kilt. And the last one we have there is Jai McDowell's Believe. Jai McDowell was the first winner of a, con a talent contest show or whatever where I wanted them to win. Actually that's not true. One of Andrew Lloyd Webber's shows the winner won as well. Um, but it was the first Britain's Got Talent winner who I actually wanted to win from the moment I saw their first audition. audition. Um, and I saw him at BGT Live uh, when they came to the Metro Radio Arena in 2011 and he was just remarkable, absolutely remarkable. So as I said, it's it's not exactly um, a 21st century CD wallet. Uh, if I were to name some artists that I really like just now, I'd probably go blank. I tend to like songs, individual songs from recent artists. There's not really one current artist, chart topping artist, who I would say, yeah, I'd go and see them in concert. I like a lot of different songs, but I just, I don't invest my emotions into any particular artist. Um, current artist, pop artist, I guess. Um, whereas you gave me Jane McDonald and John Barrowman. I wish somebody would give me John Barrowman, I really do. Um, I actually I buy all of their CDs and I listen to them. I think easy listening music is just so beautiful and I love it a lot. Thank you for watching this video. I'm not sure how long this video is because my new, well I see my new camcorder, I've had it for a while now. This camcorder doesn't actually have a time on it. It doesn't actually say how long I've been recording for. Which is a little bit weird. Um, yes, if you have any suggestions for any other videos you'd like me to see. Please let me know. Also feel free to let me know artists that you like and perhaps artists you think I should check out and broaden my music knowledge. Um, that is it for this video so I'll see you all next time. Bye!